Hello and welcome to my channel Get Crafty Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about how to create personalized bathrooms. Okay, so step one is our Cricut Design Space. If you have a Cricut Maker, we all use Cricut Design Space. If you do not know it, please link the video below. I've already uploaded the images with the names I want to use. If you do not know how to do this, please just comment and I'll make a video about this as well. Once they're uploaded, I'll just click to make these other two visible and let's minimize the name size. I have a blank bathrobe. I have two that are the size of 40 centimeters on the back. So I'll always make sure to use just half of it. But again, you can choose. So these are the two names. So the two back sides of the bathrobes. And then they also wanted a little cute word on the sleeves on both of them that says the same so on opposite sleeves which I, which I think is actually romantic and really cute so I'll use a duplicate button to just make sure that I have the right size same size and there we go okay so just select and make sure you do have a basic cut set up because you're going to cut them click on the green button make it we are going to use HTV, so do not forget to mirror your design. Why is that? Glossy side down, matte side up, because when you are pressing your heat, you will be doing on, on the glossy side, so it's the opposite way around. I'm just going to connect my Cricut Maker. So I use Bluetooth. I think it's really handy. It's a handy option to use on your smartphone or on your Mac. Once connection is established, we can continue and choose our base material, which for this project is for me then glitter iron on. Okay, so there we go. Um, just a side note on this page, because I do think it's um, a positive side in the Cricut Design space, is you can choose up to 10 favorites and it will show immediately. So these are the ones that I use the most. And I think it's really handy to just, instead of going and browsing in the browse all materials list, to have the ones you use the most just right here. So I am using glitter iron on, I will be clicking here. All the settings are set up, but I always use more just to put more pressure in it. It makes it much easier to weed. Um, then you'll just follow instructions. So you go to your Cricut Maker, you stick the HTV glossy side down and matte side up on your mat, and then you'll just go and load the fine point blade. That's the standard one. So if you did not change it, it's the same one. You'll click on the arrow to load the mat, and once it's ready to go, you press again because it will be blinking on the same button. Once you've done that, you will see the following screen and it is preparing, detecting, and then it will start cutting. The cutting starts on 0% and it will finish on 100%. And when, once it's set, you will see that you can unload the mat again with the same arrow button. So it's really easy, you guys. But if you do want me to make a video, just tell me in the comments below and I will do that. I did film a bit um, how I was cutting, so here are some sneak peeks. Okay. Okay, 87% and 100, there we go. So once the cutting has been done, uh, your design space will show you that you can unload your mat, your kick and maker as well. So just click on the arrow again and unload your mats. I will start weeding. If you want a video about that as well, just comment in the video below. Okay, so this is the final result, you guys, loving it. So I use the Glitter Iron-On HTV. Um, I think it's really, it came out really great. So to weed, you can actually use the Cricut weeding tool. I think it's the best one that I've used, but if you do recommend other ways, you can always share. So now let's heat this up. 
I use the easy press from Cricut as well. And I've set it already to 160 Celsius and 20 seconds because those are the settings for glitter iron on. You can find them always on Cricut uh, website. Once the Cricut logo is green, just press it, good to go, and one good press. Okay, and step three, final results. Everybody's been waiting. There you go. Those are the sleeves. I actually love, love, love the bathrobes, you guys. It came out just incredible. The light golden touch as well. It's not too big. It's just that perfect glitter touch. And it was really easy to make. So again, if you do like, please like, subscribe and comment below. Hope it was easy and enjoy. Thank you for watching Get Crafty Tutorials.